Hello guys, it's Pep from Pep back Edit again and today we are here with a fan request. Um, I actually was asked for a Divine Dragon Lord deck and he actually had it the beautiful word competitive. So this was, you know, uh, just me putting my hands uh, on uh, the fact that I'm using a lot of staples, but that's what you need right now to make a competitive and let me say that for competitive I mean that can actually uh, bring you some wins in the legend ranks because that's what I am now and so where you're seeing actually all the replays from. So guys, I hope the guy actually uh, like the v I like the decklist that I came up with and I hope you all enjoy this before jumping right into it guys just a quick reminder if you enjoy the content please leave a like and subscribe I really appreciate it and it really helps me a lot let's jump right into it so here with Tristan Taylor and I was so happy to use him with reinforcement so let's start from the skill for all who do not know what it does it's pretty easy there is I do not know if he's, if he's recently, but this was buffed and can be used each time your life points decrease by 1500, so this means that this effect, this skill does not apply in the draw phase, but you actually conduct your normal draw phase, uh, you do your stuff, and then at any point in your main phase, if you actually accomplish the requirement of losing 1500 life points, you can return one card from your hand to your deck and draw a random world type monster. So, this is the deck list. So, uh, I was asked for a Divine Dragon Lord, so of course, this is the card he's talking about, and he actually um, asked me for uh, two monsters that I they I luckily have guys. I, I'm sorry that most of the times I had to say that I do not have the cards But unfortunately I do not have those because you know, I'm not a free-to-play player Not at all. I spend a lot of a lot of money I can say relatively a lot of money on structures, but I do not buy packs I do not spend money on selection. In fact, in fact, you're not seeing me spending money on the newest selection to get the cards as soon as they came out. Uh, the you know um, the most delightful example is when the selection box with Stratos came out. You know, guys, I'm a huge hero addicted, but I do I did not spend any money on that selection. I waited for November for the main box to drop with Stratos, and I spent my regular gems on it. So guys, that's why a lot of times I had to say that I do not have the cards because I do not have those. Um, and I, have, I had to admit that occasionally I spent, I think, for um, 4 to 10 euros maybe. Um, I spent I spent on boxes, but it was when we got, you know, the uh, 1 euro uh, UR offer. And that's, you know, a very good deal. And I usually spent, you know, a couple of euros every time that the type of sale shows up. So... Um, let's just talk about the deck list right now. So I was asked to play Divine Dragon Lords, Ek Brave Dragon and White Knight Dragon. And what I actually discovered and I forgot about it, it is that White Knight Dragon is like a cavalry, as you can see right here, but only for spell and trap cards. I mean, you do not even have to discard a card. When this card is uh, targeted with a uh, spell or a trap card, you just negate it. It's not you to choose. You just negate it and you have no cost. So it's pretty good. Of course, the bad side is that you have no protection from monsters effect, uh, even if they target. But the good thing is that the combo with Divine Dragon Lord, with the ruins of the Divine Dragon Lord, it's insane because this guy is just a level 8 Dragon Type monster. And this card says that if you control a level 7 or 8 Dragon Type monster and the monster on your opponent's side of the field is a special summon it, except from the grave, so this means any uh, any stuff like Levineer, any stuff like Synchro monsters, Xyz monsters, 
um, and so on, they have, as long as you have a level 8 or level 7 Dragon type monster face up on the field, they have their effect negated. This is huge, guys. This is pretty huge, as you will see in the replays, actually. And uh, then the other cool effect is just uh, to complete a very cool combo these cards have. In, uh, you can send one other face-up card you control to the graveyard to special summon one Dragolord token. And this effect perfectly combines with both Guardian of Felgrand and Paladin of Felgrand. Because these two guys on summon will allow you to um, equip a dragon type monster of level 7 or level 8. Uh, to them and they both get different effects where while they are equipped this one gets a babushed of attack and defense equal to half the attack and defense of the dragons you equipped and this other one instead uh, becomes unaffected by monster's effect as long as it is equipped so the combo is pretty easy uh, i actually prefer a little bit um, a little bit more the paladin because paladin allows you to sh to choose the level 7 or 8 dragon monster not only from your hands but also from your deck instead the guardian lets you choose from hands or graveyard of course as you can see as you can imagine paladin is way more better and the combo is pretty nice so you just summon your paladin you take your dragon out you usually want to have the best boy right here um as a kept then you use your um, uh, continuous spell to send the monster equipped to the grave and so that you have now a token that you can tribute alongside the Paladin or the Guardian that you have the same effect to special summon a level 7 or level 8 monster, Dragon Time Mars in your graveyard. So you get to summon your guy straight up. It's pretty cool. And um, the last dragon that I decided to use is a Felgrand Dragon. Uh, just, you know, to have huge attacks and not to have problems about huge attacks actually because this guy when it's special summon it um, when it's summoned actually uh, actually special uh, you can target one monster in your graveyard and this gains attack equal to the monster's level times 200 and uh, the combo works pretty well because this guy <clears throat> you um it says that can be special summon only if he was sent to the grave from the field and you actually when you equip this guy to one of the warriors it is on the field, and so if you then you send it to the grave with the Ruins of the Dragon Lords, it just works. So it's pretty cool. And then, guys, it's hard to admit, but you need these staples. I mean, Canadia is just so perfect because when it's in the grave, it recycles as a monster. So just in case you do not have your ruins, can the Canadia summoned as a monster is pretty good to use uh, as a tribute for the activation of the effect of both paladins and guardians and guardians and uh, the other guy the other cards instead are just cards that you uh, they're pretty cool especially regeki break because you know guys i actually love regeki break because it's so versatile and then kamakat but the point is that they help you discard and helps having those um, dragons in the grave, especially for Arc Brave Dragon, my boys, because this is another pretty cool effect, not the first one that says you can banish as many face up spell trap. The problem is that they are face up, so it's not really a useful effect. But the second one is pretty cool instead because if it's in the graveyard, the next send by phase, you get to special summon a level set, uh, level seven or level eight Dragon Time monster in your graveyard. So it's pretty cool, you know, to special summon back your White Knight Dragon, or also as a first special summon, I guess. Then, last but not least, we've got the extra deck. I didn't use any of the extra deck, and any card of the extra deck, except for Summer Rank of 4, as you will see in the replays, because uh, it can happen that you have a couple of level 4, and maybe you just wanted to go into an XC summon, but then the level 8 and the other stuff, it's just not needed at all. So guys, uh, that was all for uh, for the explanation, and I think we can jump right into the replays. Here we go, first replay against Hubel. So yeah, I'm, ex I'm expecting a Thunder Dragon player, let's see, 30 card, there you go, Thunder Dragon opens perfectly with the Aloof Lupine, maybe, yes, perfectly. Uh, I mean, he just missed the Dragon Roar. So there you go, he banished the, the Dragon Oak and used the effect actually. 
and so he gets to shuffle the, the all the cards in his hand back to the deck and redraw. So per, pretty cool start with my Paladino Felgrand. As I told you guys, this is the best one because can pick a dragon from the deck. I decided to go for Felgrand, and maybe what was not the best choice. Um, but I have another one, so I'm chilling. And a couple of Canadia to protect. Canadia really useful against deck that exceeds someone a lot or synchro someone a lot, you know, guys. Then, you know, I was kind of stuck, so I decided to, to play really slowly, not to waste my resources, because I'm a pretty good spot. I didn't want to summon my Paladin because I couldn't have used the effect. And keep in mind, guys, that you cannot use the effect of tributing the Paladin alongside another monster if you have no level 7 or 8 Dragon Time monster in the grave. So you need to have um, a monster then, and then when you use the effect, you can also target the one that was equipped. But firstly, you have to have have a target in the grave so just a set monster we're chilling another trap i just kept on keep on attacking kept on attacking uh he was like the jet synchron then boom here comes the levianir and i had to use canadia on the uh, jet synchron to stop him from synchro summon it was kind of it was actually um focusing them because he, re he read my card here is uncommon actually and this was unaffected so if he chose the paladin paladin actually would have, wouldn't have been destroyed keep in mind that so he can do nothing because I um, uh, flipped face down his Jet Synchron and then Levinir cannot attack the Tony Activity effect. But now I can summon my Paladins to bring out the White Knight Dragon and then the effect comes in play to summon the Felgrand that on summon will babush himself and boom, let's start get rid of stuff. First, Levianir, we've got a couple of defense, and we got also all we need to recycle those. And keep in mind, we have the Arcbraid Dragon as a, you know, as a um, uh, backup play, so we're chilling. Uh, there you go, Kamakat to banish the Dragonhawk, and then he's not done yet because he just decided to shuffle a couple of cards, then the Melody of Awakening Dragon, so another Levianir is about to come. This is bad. So there you go, Levianir effect. Of course, I had to use my Regeki break here. Uh, recycling a Canadia, and of course, he's gonna get rid of the Felgrand, but at least I've got a couple monsters because Canadia is unaffected by monsters as well. And now, here comes the spice Arc Brave Dragon's effect because it was sent there to the graveyard the, f the previous turn. Let me revive a Felgrand again on someone, again, babushed. 4400, he cannot do anything. There you go. Second duel against Odian. Now, 30 card. Please don't be all trap, but I actually expect to be all traps. Felgrand, perfect opening, and then a couple of set. Regeki break and Kamagat, but I can only use one because I only have a card in my hand. So, double set and Necrovalli, actually. So, I decided to go for Regeki break. And then just my Guardian set. You know why? Because, guys, I do not have any Dragon-type monster in the grave. So I cannot use the effect. Keep in mind that just another set card. Only trap for now. And now Xyz Shokan to have something in the grave. And actually to try to steal this win with Excalibur. I went in, but it has Dimensional Prison that, allow me, that allows me to revive my Canadia. I can swing in, so next turn I have a monster to tribute alongside the Guardian to, uh, you know, um, to make a play. So we got the Guardian of Felgrand, but Finnish Chin says no thank you. But he can stop only the first... Uh, only the first effect because the second one the second one requires me to tribute those so Canadia can stop that cannot stop that there you go this is the effect dragon dragon wine uh, white knight dragon is about to come but he has divine wrath discarding a spear karibo so nothing happens here um, just another set card, such an annoying guy right here. I top decked another paladin, bring out the Arc Brave Dragon, swinging in Kamakat. Oh my lordy, that was hard. But, um, but luckily, we've got the Arc Brave effect that brings out the White Knight Dragon. He recycles the dimensional prison, but it's not a problem to us because White Knight Dragon can just negate that, so we're chilling. And let's see what we got. Ruined! So now, if he special summons something, he will have his effect negated, pretty nice. Dimensional Prison, we do not care. Why Night Dragon negates? Let's go 
and but he has a Kelbeck who he wants and Kelbeck says a monster that attacked this car returns to its owner hands. Are you kidding me? Oh my lordy. Just another set monster. Uh, and I have nothing to do right here. So I have just to wait. Uh, and another paladin is coming. So there you go. Now this is the combo. Paladin uh, keeping the white knight dragon. Then using the effect of ruins. To send the white knight dragon that was equipped to the grave. To summon a token. And now I can tribute both to special summon the white knight dragon back to the field i attacked boom winda oh my lord this, this is a nightmare but the ruins negate that's a fact that a fact but only for a turn and in the end phase boom there you go kamakat to get rid of that Regagi break set i went in the only card that could stop me <sighs> oh my lordy a low life barrier and then in the end phase to get rid of that i guess yes nothing else and he scoop or maybe it was just you know a card that a target but the other one that i targeted was a wall of d actually another card that was a, was good against my white knight dragon there you go third duel against Ancinomi. so we've got a pretty cool hand right here so it's got jet falcon it's fine uh, using flight control skill to add screw serpent then drill fish special summon into star guardian then he's got the effect to recycle and the effect then to special summon but he decided to go for the warwolf uh, so he's got access to a quick synchro summon into a level 8, but I can't think of anything level 8 that has a, a huge effect, a huge impactful effect. So we don't care. Let's start with Ruins, then the um, uh, Paladin to choose a monster from the grave. Look how cool it is. You know, Hark Brave to uh, send to the grave with Ruins, then summoning a token, using the effect to bring the Hark Brave out. Why did I do this, guys? Because... I knew he had something right there, so I just wanted him to send my Arc Brave in the grave and then next turn discard it in before the standby phase because keep in mind the effect of Arc Brave Dragon activates in the standby phase. So right now you should put, you have to put your toggle on and as soon as it becomes your opponent's draw phase, you come a cut, discard this so that you have a target for your Arc Brave Dragon. So treacherous, it's fine, I mean, and then it's exactly, this is exactly what I did, toggle on, draw face, look at this, Kamakat, goodbye to Star Guardian, and now I have a target for my Arc Brave Dragon, so I have my combo, and now anything that gets special summoned except from the grave has its effect negated, Star Guardian negated, but <clears throat> unfortunately, the effect on summon uh, um, uh, is a chain link too, as you can see, because it's chained to the effect of ruins, so this gets resolved, but the next one, no, it gets not. So, uh, fly control, but it cannot use the effect of Star Guardian to special summon uh, another monster, so he has to rely on his Drillfish and then um, uh, Warwolf, but keep in mind that Drillfish was special summoned from the hand, so he gets his effect negated. This means that this cannot attack directly. And it's pretty good because if these attacks directly, target one monster your opponent control destroy it. So this was pretty tough. It goes with Wolf, Wolf with Warwolf, sorry, and then it's got Battle Wolf to attack to attack twice. And as you can see right here, uh, Battle Wolf has his effect negated as well. And now it goes into the battle phase because he wanted to attack with the drill fish to pop my white knight dragon and then attack twice with the battle wolf, but he couldn't because because it was all negated. There you go. Lashed but not leashed against <clears throat> Jack Atlas. And this instead is just, um, if I remember well, a duel that allowed me to win just thanks to a lot of Canadian, I guess. Uh, it's him to begin, um, so he has a chance to make his full combo, but unfortunately I think he does not have all he needs. So he goes on with the Red Rising Dragon using the effect and bringing back the Force Resonator. He has a couple of set cards, but we got the Paladin, the perfect opening Paladin to keep a white knight dragon from the deck and then ruins we've got the combo but it's got typhoon to stop me and it's fine i guess just a couple of sets and attacking into the tuna then it's got the set card wandering wild wind to add the crimson resonator and i had to can to flip that down so um, luckily for us 
He decided not to attack. He was afraid of this. I guess it's fine. Good for me. Then Ballista the Squad, uh, and I activate Canadian Response. Uh, but he targeted what? He actually targeted my set card that I activated in response. Um, so actually, no, not in response because this was just set. And there you go. We can just go on and attack. Uh, getting rid of the little red rising dragon. He has nothing else right here and another uh, Paladino Falgrant to use to equip the Arc Brave and he has nothing so this as you can see even if you do not manage to pull out your full combo it was almost done um, except for that Typhoon and knowing Typhoon thanks to the traps you really have a lot of stuff and keep in mind that with this uh, you know combo I could have just gone into an XC summon and then all my both my dragon type monsters that were equipped would have gone to the grave and in the next turn in this turn in standby phase because I had an arc brave and a white knight dragon I would have had the, the chance to activate the effect of um, my arc brave dragon to special summon the white knight pretty cool right so guys that was all for the explanation and the replays I hope you enjoyed the commentary uh, I hope the guy that asked me for this is, you know, uh, satisfied um, with what I came up with. And that was all, guys. Um, uh, feel free, of course, to ask me whatever you want in the comment section down below. Thanks a lot for watching. And as always, see you in the next one.